What's up guys? I'm chilling with my buddy Eric Reno today. Uh, just getting some stuff done. And we're driving, pulling up to his house right now, which I'm gonna show you. But the whole time we've been in the truck, all we're talking about is uh, insurance, liability, protecting your assets, workman's compensation, investing, get to the next level, the mindset, overcoming fears, and building a team that, like, you're like an accountant, your insurance agent, all that stuff that helps you. Man, we're pulling up to this house right now. It's a 29 year old kid just bought a $350,000 house. Frick. What's up? How's it going? That's uh, he's talking about the importance of Angie's list and how he just got what, what's the thing you got? The award, uh, super service award for 2014. So only the top five percent of the company. On Angie's let's get that so it's all about how many reviews and positive reviews and everybody um, recommending you and kind of building a presence like almost like an authority so when companies people call him now to do work he shows up professional they already trust him because he has the Angie's list service award 2014 and fully legitimate license insured company and then boom money but you pay what, 300 bucks a month for a year straight, Angie's List? Yeah, and only had one customer, and they write, luckily they wrote this long review, and the longer the review, the more credentials it has on Angie's List, and the more power it pulls you, to put you at the top of the list. Um, and then they kind of just roll and roll and roll. It, it's a whole process. You know, it's... Um, and you are the biggest student, most of all. Yes. <laughs> just learning. Here's a... Uh, Nice woods you got back here. Yeah, you cleaned all this. Yeah, we uh cut down all the trees and cleared all that out. You're gonna put a huge bond fire pit back there, aren't you? Yeah. Do all the landscaping out. this yeah, year. Build a tree house for the kids and playscape and do all that kind of cool stuff. Let's go inside and show them your house. It's actually a mess. We're renovating it. Renovating. 100% before we move in. So we gutted the entire thing. So it's actually a big mess. I should have bought my brought my steady camera camera I'll stabilize it because it's all shaky but still all right we're going inside and we're talking to a guy here Eric just like what five years ago were you a rapper I was show it shows your tattoos on your hands come on that's the rap group and uh just you know flat broke he was living in a trailer i was living in a trailer right down the street from him and did you say you slept in the back of your girlfriend's car yeah for eight months homeless homeless i remember when you were uh working at wendy's that one time and you... yeah i worked at wendy's mcdonald's i worked everywhere here you go <laughs> i love that ladder Take us for a tour real quick. Okay. Just walk and talk, talk kind of loud. So. The office. Is this your own office? Yeah. This is where all the Paramount stuff will go on. Um, That's sweet. No floors in anywhere yet. So, so you got your own office. Boom. Right. This will be the living room. This will be all hard, hardwood, uh, hickory floors, hand straight. All the colors will be changed, none of this ugly wood. Uh, this is our bedroom with the balcony. Uh, there's a lake to the left. There's a woods on the back here. We're right about. So this is the bedroom with its own balcony. One, two acres. Are you gutting all this out? Closet. Yeah, I mean, walking nothing's closet. got doors and stuff like that. We just bought it as is. Uh, master bath. Keep going, keep going. Dining room. Dining room? Yeah, this is the kitchen. We just laid this. I stepped on this. We just laid this yesterday. Oh, wow. Yeah, so. It's nice. You put all the cabinets in and everything? Yeah, custom boat cabinets, floor to ceiling, custom granite. Um, they have 10 foot. The island's gonna be 10 foot wide. You're gonna have a whole island? Lines. Yeah, the, the, fly, or the island will be 3 foot by 10 foot. And then, uh, 
dark cabinets to the ceiling. There'll be uh, all the ceiling steel appliances with the hood left. The back flat. <laughs> Ceramic too, so the floors tore out. Really Closet, laundry room. Oh, cool. Yeah, for the garage. Wow, there's a lot of stuff in there. Yeah. This garage is huge, man. Yeah, this is what we tore out of the house so far. Romeo, Michigan. This is Romeo, right? Oh, uh, Washington. Washington County. Uh, right side of Romeo. Another closet. Yeah. All right. There's three bedrooms for my daughters. I remember the other day you were bitching saying, oh, the bedrooms are too small. <laughs> Oh yeah, we gotta see the basement too. Oh yeah. I love the basement. What do your friends say when they come here? I don't know. <laughs> Everybody has their own opinion. It's just interesting to watch you. You just woke up. Oh, this is their bathroom. This will be completely torn out and redone. We're going to middle floor first. I kind of like that. That's cool. Yeah, so they'll have their own like house up here. The bathroom will be hot pink, and then they got their rooms. So be there a little. Get away. Let's go in the basement. But I mean, you're looking at sitting down with the real estate gurus and all that. You're like, how the hell do you do that? Yeah, my focus is all on the real estate now. So this is the basement, 12 foot ceilings. Um, it's a whole span of the house. Yeah. And there's a, another bathroom over here. And the furnace and all that stuff. Bedroom. Is this your framing all this out? This wasn't like this last time, was it? Yeah, we're framing all this out, getting this all ready. A little bit of work at a time, work all day, come here, work all night. Constant work, work, work. Work, work, work. And then uh, your other house, you're right. selling it right this now? This is a private area for the hot tub. Got privacy, so. Oh, sweet. Take your wife out here, have some drinks. Yeah, the other oh, you know what I saw is that this one client's house over the summer. He had the hot tub and a bar out here with like tiki lights and all yeah, that. And he had nice. flat screen TVs and waterproof surround sound on the wall outside. Oh, wow. That's with great music idea. playing. Yeah, I like to have a flat screen or even a projector. If you could project it on the wall, you can sit in the hot tub with a bar. Yeah. Watch some football on the uh, projector. It's done now. And there you go. That's it, man. You guys some good advice about hitting the next level. Uh, work hard, keep learning. Uh, don't ever doubt yourself. Just keep moving. I don't think it's anything um, too hard or... I don't know, it's just... I just challenge myself. It's progression. I constantly progress. What's next? What's next? What's next? That's how I always tell people that. You know, ask me how to do it. Start small. Slow and steady, grow, 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 on to the next thing. What if you got negative, broke-minded people in your life who are just like, blah? Yeah, get away from those people. I've done this for years. A lot of, uh, a lot of time spent, you know, with people that don't have anything or people that give you advice. Even parents or family members can give you advice, and they're not coming from a mind where they create. It's more of, you know, negative things that's happened in their lives. Uh, channel all that out. Find people that inspire you and find people to talk to. Track them down. Call them multiple times even though it makes you uncomfortable. Um, you've got to have people around you that push you and kind of, you know, even talk negative to you like you don't have as much as me. You know, you, you need that so that you can get to the next 
level. If you're around people that are all smaller than you, it's not hard to have the biggest wall in the room if I'm in the room with a bunch of laborers. But if I'm in the room with a bunch of real estate investors, then I'm the little guy, and that's how I'll, you know, then you feed to get to the next step. There you go. Because <laughs> I know you, so you sat down with the, uh, the real estate guy, and he's sitting there telling you, you ain't got shit, you're broke. Yeah. He's like, <laughs> you don't have any money, you know, your credit sucks, and this and that. I was like, well, when I went to buy my truck, I went to the Ford dealership, they said, you can have anything you want. And he's like, that doesn't mean anything to me. Said, okay. Look <laughs> <laughs> uh, at these pine trees. Alrighty, cool. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do a tour of Jeff's house next. Yeah, let's do it. He lives right up the street. You go to Jeff's house. Jeff's uh, 32 and, well. <laughs> Do it. Let's do it. Let's keep finding more people, man. This is just the beginning. I'm only 29. This is got a long ways to go. Yeah, all of us do. Alrighty, later.